So let's see what, what, what's inside. I have got the Intel 4770K processor, the Asus Z87 Deluxe motherboard, which is which is uh, uh, full of features. Um, system upgrade, energy saving, precise power control, ultimate cool and quiet, and it's got a, a Wi-Fi thing uh, built into it as well, which is one of the fastest, or well, one of the latest uh, Wi-Fi um, standards. And a PSU. Now, unfortunately, the memory is obviously coming in a separate parcel, which might have been posted out, I don't know, which might not come today. So. The actual um, upgrade will have to take place tomorrow or something, or, or if it comes later, later on, and I will continue this uh, this video. However, this is the GS700 Corsair uh, power supply, and the other thing about it was was that it's supposed to be um, quiet. Now, what I'll be doing, I'll be upgrading my computer, which will up, which will then go down and upgrade another computer, and then that one below that is going to up upgrade another PC. However, there are some things that we can do now, such as install the processor into the board. Right, so, so here it is. I've read some of the features out already. This has got, oh, is it up here? Intel chipset Z87, Intel Inside Core. Um, uh, CPU supports LGA 1150, the chipset. Nevada SLI ready, AMD Crossfire technology, and uh, all the other sort of stuff, all the connect stuff and so on and so forth. However, all I want for is to make my video rendering slightly faster, or a lot faster. Um, and here we are, a nice case. Oh, there you go, more about, about the BIOS and optimization and, uh, and so on and so forth. Fast USB 3 with U, UASP and in Windows 8. Well, it's a, a nice clear. A nice clear um, box it is in, all to all due to the presentation. Right, here's the actual board itself. Still in its anti-static wrapper. And what have we got underneath? We have got the IO plate and shield. Um, this is to do to do with the wireless, the wireless antenna, uh, I believe. Um, one, two or is it six um, SATA cables um, some headers for USB and uh, and so forth and and uh, for the you know the speaker and the, and the uh, LED uh, hard drive and, and so on and there must be uh, a crossfire a crossfire thing never use crossfire so I don't know a manual the Z87 exclusive features. So I will take a read of this. Don't normally read manuals very thoroughly. And the user guide. I should need this to because I've only got um, six, I've got 16 gig of memory coming, but it's only um, there's only two uh, uh, two sticks. So I'll, I'll, and this has got four on it. I need to go to put in the right channels to get the best optimization for for the memory. A disk or their software on it, and I expect it's already been updated online. So we'll install that or check out the online one and a manual quite extensive manual all in English which is uh, pretty good all about the bias and so forth and the bit I'll be interested in is how you install how you install the uh, memory right okay well let's go ahead and install the processor okay well Nice and colourful, gold and yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten SATA ports. Black and yellow, and there is a difference between the two. Um, here's the wireless, USB 3, two ports there, another two, so it's four USB 3 ports. Display port, HDMI, optical for sound, Ethernet. And another Ethernet there. What's, that? What's this sticker over it for? I need one anyway. Or if any, if I use the wireless. Um, USB 2 there. And, and the sound. 
the usual thing. It's got extra sound on this, I think, some sort of high definition or whatever, which is better than normal. And you've got this, I'll have to look at what EPU means, um, and a TPU. Uh, a TPU, I think you can overclock it by, by clicking a switch, or, or it's that one, whatever. But have to, have to read the manual and find out, and I, I will let you know. Right, so let's uh, put in the processor. Right, here's the the i7 4770K LGA1150, it says. So let's undo this box and break the seal. Three and a half gigahertz. Better than my 2.7 gigahertz i7, uh, a really original one, 920 I think it is, that I have at the moment. Which is, you know, it's been good. I've had it for four years, and to be honest, it works well, all of it. That's going to go into another computer to upgrade that one, and this one is going to be the um, pride of the fleet, so to speak. Pride of the house PCs. Right. Here is the, the fan that comes with it, which I'll use for now, but I'll probably upgrade that later. Costs that have to be kept to minimum, so I won't be overclocking it with that, with the one that comes with it, if I, ever need, if I ever do overclock it. I'd rather it lasted than uh, overclock it. So here's the actual chip. Now, to do this, we press down, move it out, and lift it up like that. Now, I've got to get this in the right way. First of all, let's undo it. Well, they, they get smaller all the time. How many billion transistors are in this? I suspect there's a data for that somewhere. There you go, what I like, no pins. I like the AMD ones. Right, now, there is, you've got the thing there, the little gold a triangle in the corner, and you've got two notches there, a notch there and a notch there. And on the board here, the processor goes is uh, with the notches, there's two um, cut-ins, not cut-outs, whatever you want to call it, where the processor should just sit in there nicely. And there it goes, that's in there nice and snug. So I'm gonna ooh, put that down. Yeah, you feel you feel quite quite a bit of pressure all the way with this. And then shove that off, let's pop that off. So there you go. So now to install install the fan. And the first thing is is where's the uh, CPU fan that is over there? And it has to reach that. So do I do it like that? I think so. Or like that. Would it still reach it? The minimum of wiring dragging across the board. Let's have a look. It's already coming untangled and whatnot. It's a solar upgrade, which I mean taking the board out again once so I put it in. So there you go. This also must detects text if you've got a three pin or a a four a four pin fan and then can adjust the uh, uh, you know can adjust it all up right now it's thermal paste oh, the fan popping off oh that's it see they're all separated now underneath and uh, that fan is on there no obstructions can I get it round nah Anyway, it's got to wait for the memory now, and then we can do the upgrade. I would start fitting in the case now, but I don't want to <laughs> have a memoryless uh, PC because I need to use it almost immediately. With this upgrade, what will be uh, interesting is it's going on a Windows 8 PC. Now, normally you can put in a new board, I've noticed, and it just finds all the drivers and off it goes. So I'm hoping that's what happened. Uh, like in the past, just Windows just wouldn't boot or whatever, but we'll see what happens. Um, power port there, uh, power port there, CP, must be the CPU one, 12 volts, the main power there. Right, that's, um, I made a mistake earlier, there is actually six USB 3 um, ports on there, four USB 2 ports, obviously you've got on the board where you can add, because I've got a front panel thing with a, for a card reader and USB etc, go on there. Uh, there's a clear CMOS button there. There's a, a reset switch there and a, and a power switch there. Well, the memory did, uh, did come a little bit later in the day via another courier. 
And here we are, it's the Vengeance DDR3 Pro Series, 2 times 8 gigabytes, making 16 of course. And what speed is it? Uh, 18.66 or something. Anyway, that's the memory, and this is the PC I'm going to take all the bits out of, which is going to go to upgrade another PC, and I should put a new board into this one, minus the drives basically. Um, and then hopefully it will work. All right, well, according to the uh, so Earth for South, according to the manual, I should for take advantage of the, of the dual channeling. I should put that would be the best place to put it in, would it? Yeah, if it all still see that, yeah. I should put one. In there. Is that in the solid? I believe it is. And one in the other yellow one. When we get some more in the future, we can just populate the other ones. I can fit to gig around, which I just it would not need really. Right. So that's in there. So that's ready to be slotted in there when all this comes out. Right, well, here we go. I've got the old board out. I'm taking that all away. The other one's about to go into this space in here. And uh, and I've got, the first thing to do is to install the um, input out, uh, out shield. Here we go. It's fitting in nice and snug. Clicks in that way at the top. Uh, no, not the bottom. Great. Let's try it from the bottom then. Probably more knack to doing this. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Cheap case. Well, not cheap actually. Right, that's it. That's nice and snug. Great, fantastic. Right, now to do the transplant. Taking one out. And in goes with wires. Here's the trouble. Give out the way. Oh. Hopefully this is gonna. Yes. Perfect. I think. Line up. It's lined up there. It's lined up there. And it's lined up there. Just the cushion is get just a bit of a cushion against there, which is good. So if I put a couple of screws in. Now some of the fans in there are just on Molex connectors, so they won't connect to the the fan on the uh, they won't connect to the fan on the chassis, so I might have to alter that. Um, so they won't be part of the uh, you know automatic fan system thing that it has, fan expert 2 as it calls it. You know, I've dropped a screw, so I'm having to use the syringy grab screwy thing to get it. It's right down. Which I've got, but also, get it in position, you can use this as well. Like this. Oops, can you see it? Yeah, like this. And then you can at least get a couple of threads, release it, it's in position. Screwdriver, actually, in fact, I've got a really long screwdriver, it's been so much easier to use. Always use a long screwdriver if you can, at these cases. Makes life a little bit easier. Then we've just got to connect everything up. Right, now to connect up all the hard drive lights, etc., etc. So hard disk drive LED. Power switch. Here's the reset switch. Put that one in there. Power and the power switch. So that can be connected. I presume this is keyed, yes it is. All right, I'm just unboxing the, uh, the PSU. It's the Corsair GS700, and uh, and and this is this is, and this is what we get in the box. You get the usual warranty card, some instructions in Chinese, oh, and English and other languages, and lots of cables. Which are all attached, so it isn't a, isn't a modular one like like the old one. 
but it'll have to do. And what's this? And some cable ties. So obviously all these cables are going to make uh, quite, quite a big mess inside the case, like lots of snakes. Um, it's got the usual mains connector there, and it's got the on-off switch. It's also got this switch with a light bulb on it. Maybe it lights up something, I don't know. Maybe it lights up the fan or something to make it look uh, nice, and, nice and pretty. Or maybe it's reset, I don't know. We'll soon find out when we, when we, plug, it, when we plug it all in. Well, I've, uh, I've connected it. Um, start again. I've connected it all up now. However, I've, I've yet to uh, tidy the cables. I should have got a modular PSU, uh, as I said. Um, now I'm going to take it off and plug it in into it into its monitors and uh, test it. Well, I've, uh, I've I've plugged it all in. You can just see it there in the dark. And I've booted it up, and my original Windows is finding all the devices. I'm going to put the software on in a second. And uh, and we'll see how, but so far so good, and it came out really, really quickly. Well, I've had it running for uh, for about a day now, and it's uh, well, it, it was 7.7, .7, but now it's 7.6 .6 on the Windows sort of hardware scale. Mainly slowed down by the by the graphics. It's got an older graphics card in it, so I might do something about that at some point. But everything else is about 8.1. I don't know, uh, but it was 7.2 on the old system, so it's not a great deal of a jump, but it is enough. It does feel. Uh, a lot quicker, you know, if windows seem to come up quicker, etc, etc. So, um, yes, well, thank you for watching another video.